Transformers, more than meets the eye. Autobots cleans their pedal to destroy the evil forces of... Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this special new figure unboxing and review video we're going to be looking at the Generation Selects War for Cybertron Transmutate. So what we're going to do with this video, we're going to unbox him live in a second and have a look at all the contents that come inside the packaging. We'll have a look at him in both modes to help you decide how you want to display him. We'll also have a look at a couple of fan modes as well because he's a bit of a parts former so we can put him in some different combinations and see how he looks like that. Uh, but before we get started let's of course have a look at the packaging and once again with it being the generation selects you've got a real nice sturdy outside cardboard box but not much more than that. We've got brilliant huge bold letters there of the war for cybertron trilogy which it is and we've still got this uh paint sort of dripping autobot logo which again it you know it does look cool it did look cool ages ago but i feel they need to sort of change it mix it up whether it be a decepticon logo a maximal logo or even a predicon logo who knows they need to start to mix it up right so let's have a look inside then so because this is a generation select figure i had to order it especially so i want to thank phil at robot recruits for which is where i brought this from so thank you to him let's have a look inside then so we've got the lovely same yeah it's all the same inside but it's also all cardboard as well all cardboard there's some tie wraps there as well which are a little bit of plastic but i know that they are obviously going for more eco-friendly packaging and things so we've got the back of the head there there's nothing in the bottom this that's a great color scheme on there isn't it that does look really really good yeah you can tell it's a redeco of some of the other fossilizers but i think it looks good we've got the instructions here and we've got the box there we go then i'm just going to free him from the packaging and we'll have a look at him in a bit more detail okay then here we go let's have a look at him in a bit more detail and in honesty this is going to throw me a curveball because what i'd normally do at this particular point of the video is start to show you the articulation however there is zero point doing that with you because this figure basically everything goes he's what's known as a parts former so you can literally take him to pieces but because of this literally everything goes so shoulder all the way around bicep all the way around waist all the way around knees legs ankles head everything i mean it literally is as i say everything goes i'll show you exactly what i mean by that in a second but what we will do is we'll have a real good look at him because um i do i do actually really like it i don't know what it is about this figure um because i wasn't a big fan of the fossilizers um i didn't buy paleo treks and i got skelivore as part of the other pack um but this guy he just looks really really good i like the color scheme with him um and yeah i don't know what it was i just i just really liked him so let's have a look at all of the parts that come with him so we've got a hand claw arm leg whatever you want to use it as because of course it's up to you how you build him up we've got the tail which was already loose inside the packaging this is what i mean about articulation for the head i mean look the mouth opens which is brilliant but for rotating and turning around it will literally go and all of the way out there we go so we can take that out we can take the shoulder so the upper arm out we can take let me just balance that there so there's the other arm and again you can pull these all apart into smaller pieces so what i'm going to do in a second once they're all in their pieces i'm then going to pick the camera up pan out and show you all the pieces that he comes with you can see i just took the lower leg off there there's the upper leg we can split it in half so you're coming down to the main sort of pieces which are left and even the back bit there comes off yeah so what have we got here it looks like we've got one two three four five six seven eight and bits are definitely stuck nine then bits well you could pull these apart but i don't want to you can see that you can slide that off if you wanted to uh, but i'm going to keep them together for now so let's have a look at all of the pieces brilliant stuff that's just in case you may buy one loose or you may see one loose and you're not sure which parts you should have so there you go that should hopefully help you with that 
I'm going to come right back now then and we're going to be built into one of his alternate modes. Okay then, so there we are, we're back and we've got him in the alternate mode and this is of course a skeletal Tyrannosaurus Rex. And again, I do like the mould, I just want to quickly apologise for not doing it on camera. Uh, basically it was just a lot of pulling the pieces out and then reforming them all together. The instructions, to be fair, is absolutely brilliant though. So you've got all of the stages on here and you can see that it took 32 steps in honesty to get it to that you can probably make out what a lot of the things are the one thing i will say is just to make out that getting this i suppose chest plate to fit on is probably the most awkward but apart from that it's absolutely fine um again i like the fact that you have of course got full articulation wherever you want in the you know the, what would be the dinosaurs hips knees ankle tilts rockers twist the tail head back neck up everything i mean you can literally do everything you saw the fact that i took it apart to all the many pieces um whether or not i display them in this particular mode i don't know i do think it looks really good but i haven't really got anything where it would you know go with that shall we say that's it let's have a quick look at his head there but and i suppose this is now the fun part with these figures what you can do is you can disassemble them into pieces and then what we're going to do i'm going to come back and we're going to have them combined and formed with some of the other robots so coming right back with you now right then so we're back and as you can see i've done one of the power up modes again apologies for not doing it on camera i really don't want to spoil it for you guys because it is it's very rewarding and in honesty it's quite fun learning to do all this if you're worried that it's difficult i can rest assure you that it's not at all i'll just very quickly show you the instructions like i said on the one side we've got the transformation process from the robot to the t-rex but then on the other side you've got where you're going to basically pull it all into the pieces which you can see and then make and attach all the weapon stroke accessories to and they're using warpath here as an example so that's what i do the same so this is the particular mode we've gone for there with the giant huge axe and the legs coming over the back and the other mode there is with the feet underneath and another huge sword so let's put them two together and i do have a paleo trick so i've just gone and found it so there are the two particular modes that are literally in the instruction books and as you can see this is where they get their name parts formers from so if we look at this guy first and foremost there is clearly his tail and all his vertebrae into his back we have both heads here one is a club and one is a sort of shield maybe again other club coming around the side there was of course the chest plate again acting as a bit of a forearm guard and of course we've got the hind of the dinosaur with the legs coming over the back quite i suppose quite scary looking let's be honest and then with the other warpath in the other picture they've got the hind feet at the bottom a ginormous sword now which again is the vertebra of the head this is basically the full length of the t-rex and then the rest again of the hind in the back coming out over there and of course there are many many other ways that you can do this there's so many if you just as i say google fan modes for these there's there's just loads it really is quite fun and yeah i want you to experience it for yourselves i'll show you the things well i'll show you the pictures now in the video but when you're doing it yourself you just get that little bit more of self-satisfaction so we're going to come back again we're going to have a quick look at him in some other fan modes but just transmutate himself before rounding up after that Okay, then we're back and I've got him in a fan made mode. And again, I take no credit for this whatsoever. In fact, I have to thank Brian at TF Fan Page 101 because this is solely his idea. And again, it's brilliant. Look at it. This time, instead of having the long arms at the front, he's actually used where you can attach it into where the shoulders would be. So all the feet and everything are at the back. You've still got the legs. He's extended the head out. You can, of course, open and close the mouth again. I just think that's a brilliant, brilliant idea and it's such a great great take on the character so well done to brian for that and as i say i take no credit for it whatsoever and of course all the limbs again you can still move turn around they're all on these joints you can pose crazily there are so many different things that you can do with this particular figure um so what i'm going to do now just to finish the video off come back with him in his normal robot mode how i'm going to be displaying him and finish this off 
Okay then, we're back for the final part of the video and I've got him in the way that he's going to be displayed and this is his pretty much standard way of looking robot mode. And like I said at the beginning, you know, I didn't really like these fossilizers at all. I didn't buy Paleo Trex when he came out. Um, I do actually have a copy, obviously, which I realised afterwards. But I think what it was that really sort of brought my attention to them was the fact that uh, Skellivore obviously came with the um, Megatron spoilers pack. So it made me sort of take notice of him. And then, he was, you know, I said it in the video for that, he's okay, nothing really amazing. Um, and there, of course, is Paleo Trex. But then, when I saw this particular guy in the middle, the one that I'm reviewing right now, I think because it was his whole colour scheme. And since then, it's, again, I've, I've referred to it a few times on this, some of the fan-made modes, the fact that you can combine them all. There's just so much you can do with that. I might even do another video with them all in different combining ways as well. And, you know, you guys... Let me know, let me see yours as well um, on Instagram, toys underscore R Russ. Let's see which ones you can build. So in summary, a very strange and a very quirky figure. Um, yes, redecos. So if you've got one of these, you may not particularly want one. I think this one's colour scheme is the best and that's probably the main reason that I got it in all honesty. But there you go, a look at a very quirky and strange, yeah, strange figure, let's be honest, but very good. Um, and exactly, I suppose, what you want out of a toy. The playability factor for these is brilliant because there's just so much you can do with it. You can reconfigurate themselves. You can reconfigure them with other figures and even each other. And you can't ask for more than that, can you? So great value. And hope you enjoyed looking at him and take care.